Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to our live coverage of the 2019 European Go Grand Slam. This is live from the Chinese Culture Center in Berlin, Germany. And uh, yeah, we're back. It's, it's, it was a very exciting first day. Uh, I think all of us got a little bit more sleep. It was a pretty stressful Thursday. You know, the, the, the opening round uh, is, is pretty is pretty tough for anyone. Uh, the players, the, the tournament organizers, and also the staff here are working very hard to make sure that you get the best coverage uh, that you get on our channel. That is, of course, twitch.tv slash European Go Federation. So we'll have more uh, coming up this, the, today, of, of course, on the weekend as well. So uh, actually, each day is going to get better than the previous. So uh, you better get ready uh, to watch more Go from here. But uh, yeah, uh, once again, uh, two very honored uh, commentators, uh, Cornel Berzo, uh, Romanian 7 Don, Jeff Su, legendary Finnish teacher, 6 Don. Uh, thank you for being here, gentlemen. Thanks. So uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty eventful first day. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, there were four matches being played. Uh, so it was the, the, I guess, seed number five to 12 playing against each other. Uh, but we actually don't have any upsets from yesterday's result. So right now we have like seven, uh, you know, seven professional players and one amateur, right? Lucas Mapera, uh, the, the seven down amateur from Czechia. He beat Oscar Vasquez yesterday. Of course, that was a spotlight game, but uh, yeah, I think uh, pretty exciting day this, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Should be. Yeah, and today a little more. I hope. <laughs> yeah, because today is actually mostly is a pro play against pro each other. I know that we have Lucas's game too today. So yeah, yeah. It's gonna be <laughs> nerve wracking, right? <laughs> you still have one student in the race for yeah. the match. Yeah, yeah that's right, right. So well, hopefully he wins, right? Then, then we can have a really nice result, and of mm. course he'll be very happy too if he can win. But of course, we have a very but tough tournament because. Uh, the stakes are very high, uh, you know, according to the format of this tournament, uh, there's actually a lot of money uh, that's involved, for example, uh, e actually even if you just, uh, if you're knocked out from the first round, you still get 400 euros, which is a pretty nice amount for the weekend, you know, um, but actually uh, there's much more at stake because if you do qualify uh, for the semifinals, you can see, uh, you get a minimum of 1250, so that's double that, well actually three times uh, the amount that the 9th to 12th place get. Yeah. Um, don't forget to mention that Lukas is playing the defending champion, Ilya Shikshem. So. Exactly, exactly. So uh, this is actually that's more one right now, as, as you can see on the left side there. Uh, that is live feed coming from the players who are just right next to us. But yeah, like, as, as, as we said already, you know, the, the winner's prize is actually 10,000 euros. So uh, this is the largest prize of any tournament in, I believe, in the Western Hemisphere. Because I, I, I don't, yeah. I mean, we've worked, uh, I mean, I've worked for like, North American tournaments, but I don't think we have this kind of prize money, you can just say it as a fact that this is actually the most prestigious tournament in sure, yeah. probably in all of the Western Go scene. So um, there's a lot of stake and I think just the atmosphere was very really different, right, from other tournaments because I mean, Jeff and, and Cornell, you go to other places, right? But yeah. this is really serious stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's the toughest tournament in Europe and also uh, when you have the strongest players, you have uh, mm -hmm. nice conditions to play great prizes to fight for, so a lot of pressure to, I guess. Mm. Yeah, actually, that, uh, uh, obviously, there are, uh, the, the one advantage is that you have more time, I suppose, for some, for some, for some players who don't want to rush through their moves. Yeah. Uh, we have actually a Fisher time setting. So uh, the games are higher quality compared to other tournaments, I, I guess. Mm. I suppose. Uh, I mean, so, it's more serious. Mm, yeah. So there's like 80, 80 minutes of basic time and like 30 seconds per move, which means that uh, there's one just one clock, but for each move you place, you get 30 more seconds. So actually, this whole game can go, uh, you know, up to four or five hours, right? We we've seen very long battles, uh, even from yesterday. Actually, you know, you know, um, they both yeah. started, uh, you know, Lucas yeah. and Oscar. They started playing at about 10:45. Actually, yeah. didn't finish until like I think 4:30 in the afternoon or something like this. So uh, yeah. games are pretty exhausting, right? Yeah, yeah they they are they are, and I think every day is like a huge battle, right? So. Yeah, but um, at least there is only one game a day, not like yeah. two yeah, or yeah. three games a day compared sure. to the regular tournaments. Mm -hmm. I guess we have a lot of uh, very strong players in the field uh, who have already kind of experienced this, this kind of uh, atmosphere. Uh, actually, in, in the draw right now, we, we can take a look at the standings uh, as, as, of, as of now. Um, and we do have the, we have the, we do have the draw uh, from yesterday. Uh, the the so newly seeded players... Seems to have like the toughest round, right? Toughest he does, he does. Um, I mean, he, he had a, well, of course, yesterday he was playing Oscar. You you could say, yeah. you know, on paper, yeah. he, he was the only five down out of the other, you know, six down, seven downs of pros out there. But it was a tough match. And yeah. I think he was very, uh, it was very 
uh, grueling affair because Oscar was very tenacious, right? As, as you said. But yeah, yeah no, today he's, he's up against a very tough opponent, Ilya Shikshin, the uh, defending Grand Slam champion. Mm -hmm. Of course, always, always a very multiple time the European champion also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like actually, uh, he's the only three time professional uh, he, yeah. uh, to be promoted <coughs> at the moment in the AGF, yeah, so he's, he's definitely one of the top favorites. Uh, actually, I think we checked the polls uh, just, just in before uh, the, this commentary started, and I think Ilya had like the most number of votes, which is not surprising. Yeah. But actually, we, we must also mention one. Other person uh, in, in this uh, field, Matteo Serma, mm. the man mm. on fire, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> yeah. he, he's actually won three games in a row against um, you know no, uh, the AJ professionals, right? right? So yeah. that that's very impressive indeed as well. And of course, uh, Paolo Lisi, the current defending European champion. Right. Last summer, he, he was uh, that that was probably his greatest achievement, having beat Ilya at the final. And of course, Artem Kishinovsky, the newly crowned European professional champion, uh, yeah. probably like the closest, you know. Um, European professional tournament uh, to this one. Actually, in, in that tournament, he did super well. Uh, you know, uh, maybe it was a bit surprising result for some people, but actually, we all know that how, how how good he is, right? So, uh, we have many top favorites uh, in this field, definitely. Um, so yeah, the tournament is open for any reason so far. Yeah. So basically, yeah, basically anyone can win this. I mean, it, it's. Definitely possible that uh, you know one of the well, underdogs. We should put quotes around these underdogs <laughs> because I mean, it, it, just to get into this tournament alone means that you're a top top player in in, in the entire European continent. So um, even so, even though we have some people in the bottom half, we must not neglect to mention that, for example, Ali Jabbar was a former Grand Slam yeah. champion, so he knows how, what it takes to, to to win the big one. And of right. course, uh, Andre Kravets, uh, the one down pro from Ukraine, uh, he did really, really well uh, in, in the um, pro championship, actually. He, he was mm -hmm. in second place there. So, um, of course, the, the two other players, Alexander Dinerstein, who's won the European Championship seven times. Uh, yeah. So, and, and of course, Lucas Mopera, a very competitive uh, fighter, uh, also a Jeff student, so he's been getting a lot of lessons from you, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah, it should be a pretty good, exciting day uh, for us all to follow. You can, you can check out all these. Things um, on the KGS Go server, of course, EGF one through four. Those are the uh, counts you want to follow, um, so you can check out them, uh, check them, check them out in real time. But we're gonna just talk a little bit more about what happened yesterday, or actually maybe oh, about yeah. the, the the spotlight matchup, as you can see on the left side here. Um, the, on board one, we have uh, well Lucas again, but actually this this time around, I think he's maybe psychologically in a different position, right? Because previously, you know, he mentioned that uh, up against Oscar, he maybe yeah. kind of. Expected to win um, a little bit, but actually it was a tough match. Yeah, but today he was a favorite, right? Hmm? Yeah, but yeah today is definitely the underdog, right? There's because always a lot of pressure when you play, when you start as a favorite in any yeah. tournament, you know? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. for your opponent, there's nothing to lose, and uh, you, you just end up more pressure on yourself by thinking that, okay, he can play anything, he can feel right. free to try whatever he, he wants to, you mm -hmm. know, win the game. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should fast forward real quick to in the two games. Uh, we didn't cover yesterday. Sure, and I mean, actually, we'll I dive in the action today. All right, guys, we're back from the break. Uh, thank you so much for waiting. Uh, you may have seen some of the live stuff already. That was, uh, well, that's still going on, actually, as we speak. Uh, board one from the 2019 European Go Grand Slam live from Berlin, Germany. So, actually, this is the second day. Uh, we, we're in the middle of the quarterfinals, which is actually went over the two uh, games from yesterday that, that, that we didn't cover. So, uh, we started new. Of course, the, the games have already started. Uh, I think some of them are already in mid-game, so if you want to check out what's been going on over there, uh, you can go to the KGS Go server. We have, we have actually very hardworking game recorders who help us deliver uh, in, in real time what, what the stuff that's going on the board. Of course, that's what really matters, because uh, there are uh, 10,000 euros at stake, so if you do win this tournament, you're actually going to bag all of that, which is the single largest prize, uh, I believe, in all Western Hemisphere, in, in, in the Go scene anyway. So. Uh, pretty important matches. Uh, once again, we're back here with uh, Jeff and Cornell. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, yeah, you, so uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna just take a look at a real game because I think we're uh, about 100 moves behind once again. But uh, yeah, Lucas against uh, Ilya. Actually, we saw the same uh, same pairing in all the modes. Yeah. Um, hmm. And at that time, actually, I already has given some uh, advices, but in that game, I think tactically it kind of worked out, but uh, still, let's say between this pair, yeah, there's a stress difference, and uh, so uh, yeah, we cannot really completely overcome that. 
Is there something that you said to Lucas before this game that was maybe different from, from what uh, you guys worked on? Uh, in um, yeah, basically, yeah, because the, uh, last time it didn't completely work, yeah, work out. And so earlier I actually asked him what, what was the difficulty from la last time. I support implement, implementing the uh, threat that we have discussed about, and uh, uh, yeah. So uh, I, I guess for our audience, I don't need to talk too much about details. But basically, uh, as my observation about Ilya, so uh, mostly in his games, he plays actually calm and accurate. But I, as my observation, occasionally he may he might be emotional if he's provoked by the opponent. Mm -hmm. So he can actually be yeah. angry, and then there can be moments that his moves is completely off. He's losing his cool, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and so I asked Lucas, if there's any possibility, try to provoke the opponent right. in this game. I think Ilya is usually the, the person who does the provoking, right? Because mm -hmm. I think we've seen uh, yeah. in his past performance in the other games, yeah. uh, especially because, of course, in all modes and then mm -hmm. in Yena at the, at the Pro Championship. So he's yeah. usually the one to poke around his opponent's groups and, you know, right. Pointing fingers at them like your mm -hmm. your group is not alive, then mm -hmm. there's like some agi inside. So yeah. he's usually the one who's like, uh, you know, doing the aggressive stuff, right? right. So if you can uh, reverse that role, maybe he's he's gonna be a, a bit shocked. And then yeah, he might we be... want to ju just to have one moment in yeah in the in the entire game. Yeah, that is basically what we are waiting for. But I'm not sure because we yeah this is in general what I hope he he may do. But mm -hmm. how exactly the game we're gonna. Uh, let's say proceed. I have no idea. So yeah, basically he yeah he was. Uh, otherwise, I suggest to him just to play as he, as, as his own way and wait if there's no good opportunity. So it's a good thing that you haven't seen the game live, right? No, I haven't. Yet. It'd be so nerve wracking that you can't bear to look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. So, so let's dive in. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You can cover your eyes. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. Okay, let's let, let's talk about the game now. So so either yeah. uh, it's black, I believe. Mm -hmm. This is white. So that's actually kind of a good thing. Yeah. In a way, right? Yeah. He, he got the comi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wanted. He likes them. So in Chinese yeah. rules, it's actually seven and a half comi, which is yeah. quite quite huge. Mm -hmm. Just for those of you who don't know what comb is all about, uh, it's something that we implement right mm -hmm. to to compensate for the fact that white is actually going second. So yeah. in general, it right it should be it should theoretically easier for black to get more points than white. Mm -hmm. So just to, to balance it out a little bit, um, and to avoid the draws, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> half a point. Yeah. So so yeah. exactly exactly that's why we have like half a point there. So um, there's been a debate about whether to take black or white, right? mm -hmm. and. Uh, well, some people prefer black uh, because mm -hmm. they can, you know, they, have center, they the can try to stay in sente, right? They can yeah. always be in the driving seat. But, mm -hmm. uh, but other people argue that you know, if you play as white and you can keep up enough with, with, with your opponent, then mo more often than not, you win. So, yeah, uh, it's uh, hard to say. Yeah. So far, this is pretty normal, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Two star, uh, two, three, three, two four. facing komokus like that. Mm. He's like Chochi Kun explaining, right? right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's very uh, important. Oh, here, that's the shimari. Okay, yeah. no more chochiko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is very modern, right? This is very high speed. Uh, yeah, taking the large shimari yeah. is really popular nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. So black putting pressure here is also mm -hmm. quite basic, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we see it a lot. Yeah. So okay, this is pretty mm -hmm. normal so far. And now, I guess the next move. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's yeah. super AI oriented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed that recently uh, Ilya is playing a lot of Fox Go server. Uh -huh. And probably on Fox, oh, they have this new feature where you can upload your game after uh -huh. you finish it and you can uh, uh, check it out with some AI input. So uh -huh. you, you can get some variations from Liga Zero. And, yeah, and okay. that's a pretty nice feature they implemented on the server. Mm -hmm. And I guess he picked up that move from uh, playing the strong players there. I think he's like 8 or 9 down on, on mm -hmm. Fox Go server. And you get to play AI or top professionals a lot on the right. server, so yeah, it's actually very hard to get to nine yeah. these days, right? Because of, mm, yeah. you know, all the strong bars that are pushing on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. So all right, this is pretty pretty so, modern stuff, yeah. I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, one of the jokes that that kind of emerged right after the the Africa teacher pool, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, yeah, so far this is we are playing like this, yeah, well, just play AI era, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What I'm trying to do recently in tournaments uh, yeah. is to combine a little bit the modern style with the old school uh, mm -hmm. patterns. So mm -hmm. like this, I can confuse my opponents more <laughs> because everybody is uh, yeah, yeah. you know into the the recent stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so suddenly yeah. you just throw in a bit of old school mm -hmm. yeah. style, right? Uh, yeah. Right. Of course, actually in the, in the teaching <laughs> tool, right? There there are sometimes like percentage differences. Like this 
Maybe, maybe this one move can be three three percent uh, three three points better yeah. than the other one. But actually, it's hard to say, right? Because even in like in human games, uh, even if you are you know eighty five percent. Ninety percent winning. Yeah, you, can, uh, you can still lose it. You, right? have to lose, you yeah. can still slip, slip away. Yeah. So maybe it doesn't matter so much as long as you can. You're, you have a clear mind as, as to what you're doing, right? Because sometimes I think players uh, follow a lot of uh, you know percentages yeah. and they just think, well, mm -hmm. this must be better. But maybe, maybe even if that doesn't right. suit my style, so right. maybe mm -hmm. that's important to uh, also incorporate your own thoughts into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far this is pretty standard, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the sequence is pretty much forced, so like attack, yeah. escape. Right. I think most players have played this version a lot in their own games. It pops up a lot recently. Yeah. So we we had something similar in the game against Tongi in Paris tournament. Yeah. Okay. But the situation was also slightly different. So can we go over maybe a little bit slower, just how each move, why each move is the is the way it is. Ah. So, okay, well, first of all, some of them are pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, you yeah. have to it's forced. You have to cut. For example, then, if here, white yeah. uh, mm -hmm. plays away, like yeah, yeah. Inst instead of taking the stone or going out, mm -hmm. if white plays, for example, the satari, mm -hmm. just yeah. to uh, get into the top, black mm -hmm. can he stand first. He can go down. He doesn't have to get to the two stones right away. Yeah. So mm -hmm. he will force here yeah. because yeah, white has to come back and protect there, and then he will capture the two stones. So yeah. now. He's taking two stones, but he's also hurting the other one. Yeah. So this is a pretty nice result towards the left side. Mm -hmm. And there are still uh, several problems in the corner for uh, White. So if White doesn't capture the stone, then there will be lots of cutting points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which means White owes another stone here to to fix the position. So this is and Black is right? And now yeah, he can yeah. go for a big point. Mm -hmm. Just take one of the big spots. So yeah. that's why White is. Uh, Forced to capture the stone mm. and fix the position. Yeah. Oh, there is no stone. So actually, yeah, this is this is. Uh, there's a reason, right, for yeah. taking there instead of, uh, for example, just tanuking and letting black have the two stone. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a fierce fight right away, yeah? and now double yeah. it. This is works. Um... Atari to pay some magic. Yeah. If I simply protect here. Black will connect, right? Mm. And now his position is very thick in yeah. the top. So playing the Atari before connecting, white creates uh, a little bit of Aji. Mm. And now also playing the Atari, black is forced into an empty triangle. Mm. So this shape is not really ideal for black right. locally. Mm. But now black can play the leather, right? Not good yeah. for Sensei's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is kind of vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. So the leather works, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, obviously, obviously, because there's a there's a black stone there, right? So this, of course, you can read it out. Yeah. Yeah. And now white can play a leather break. So oh, actually, black, black think about it. So black, white didn't do that immediately. Mm. Yeah, play, playing this push is to prevent black expanding mm. the moy in the top. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, if he plays any other point, like for example Atari here mm -hmm. or I don't know approach or maybe just split the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Black keeps pushing here several times. I think we see this also in the game against Dinerstein uh, yeah. earlier. Yeah. Let, let's say if Black simply pushes a couple of times here. Yeah. And we sure. look at the top now. Mm. It, it's really impressive what mm -hmm. yeah. Black starts to be. So White wants to prevent the kind of development, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I should tell you a story that you don't, yeah, we, we know that and okay. you, you didn't know. This situation actually, a similar situation at least has happened in the uh, uh, also, you know, almost that's uh, Lucas against the Dushan. Almost, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I played, yeah, uh, it's uh, I think in the group, I think, they, yeah, they played in the group. This is the Grand Prix yeah. final tournament, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that tournament, just like um, a year ago now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it was in January, no? January, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and uh, in that uh, for the situation, I remember Lucas allowed this. Mm -hmm. And along that, and if yeah. you remember, he played a move in the in the center somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he throws a stone and hope uh, to yeah. reduce everything. As position explodes. Yeah, I think last game. Uh, yeah, afterwards he told me that that situation he doesn't like it. I think mm -hmm. that, that is the moment. Yeah. Oh, so that, that's, that's why right. he tries to prevent it right away. Yeah, yeah. everything has a context. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lesson learned. Yeah. yeah, but this is a really powerful move. Yeah, to mm -hmm. you know prevent the moyo mm -hmm. and then thinking about the next move. Yeah. Jump again and try to control the center, right. and use the top. Mm. It all makes sense. Yeah. Because Black still has to fix that potential, uh, well, ladder threat, right? Yeah. Sooner or later, he's gonna have to uh, 
uh, take yeah, yeah. Another normally, way. normally he needs to add another move, mm -hmm. mm. either take or. Right. But you don't feel like playing too many moves locally because mm -hmm. you might end up over concentrating. So mm. black went down to create some uh, Aji in the corner. Right. I think in the beginning they played rather fast, so they are yeah, both yeah. very familiar. I mean, uh, yeah, players, of course, uh, they're, they're top players. They must particular be. just secure. Yeah. yeah. So this. So why does Black do all this stuff in the top left corner? Well, simple right here. Uh, He's getting those forcing moves. Okay. Yeah, let's say here. Yeah, we can. He maximizes the the profit uh, around the top like this because he gets this. He gets this. Yes. So uh, may maybe he tries to prevent the kind of Atari here, mm -hmm. where mm. if you go down, White can yes, come out. So and yeah, yeah, the level yeah. is broken. Mm. Or if you take the stone, then White will Atari under and he enters the top anyway. Yeah, so, that is yeah. one thing. And also locally, yeah. yeah. And also here, when this thing happens, decent. Atari, yeah. then this running does the stress, this card, so he can say, okay, yo, 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 yeah, yeah. if you run, so, it's not that much. Impact. So he's maximizing the profit around yeah. the top side right? very effectively. Mm. Yeah, I think Ilya is very alert on this kind of mm. uh, mm -hmm. tactical situation. Yeah. So, right. right. And he played Atari here immediately? Mm -hmm. well, well, first first of all, he played this Atari. Oh, he no, this was, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He, and, then, oh. and then White jumps. Oh. He played Atari, and then jumps. He, 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 At the moment, yeah. jumps. Ah, they had this yeah. exchange. Ah, yeah. yeah. And now he went down, right? Yeah. Now that this is actually threat threatening the, the ladder. The ladder right? directly, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, that's Sante. You're right. So yeah. white must, white must mm -hmm. And then, oh, actually, yeah, black just an So he's that. I don't care. Ah, yeah. because um, he already played Atari, so he has some kind of insurance to make eye shape. Yeah. When yeah. he captures the two stops. Yeah. So, and already, yeah, he went down, so he anticipated that if white comes out, he's quite safe in the top, so. Mm. I mean, actually, if, if black is like one remove here, right, in the future, he can Kane, and then if he can take the two stones, right, if there's yeah, no ladder anymore. So if black plays another move, to yeah. prevent the uh -huh. white going out, yeah, white, yeah. white will attack here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then simply jump mm -hmm. to expand the Moyo or play something like this. Mm -hmm. Usually, you might want to play the slide mm -hmm. and then go back, right? This yeah. makes like an ideal formation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But many times when you slide, your opponent will not just yeah, protect the nowadays card. people don't. I mean, this is like a reflex move. You say you slide and your opponent automatically blocks the sun sun, mm -hmm. so you get a nice shape. But that happens when we play teaching games because right. usually <laughs> against weaker players, they always answer. You know? yeah. But yeah. when you play against a stronger player, he doesn't have to uh, answer as a reflex. Right. So he might just play some move to reduce. Mm. And Actually, then this is one of the reasons that this move is not as commonly seen anymore, right? right. It used to be yeah, the golden standard. Mm. Yeah. Mm. First or second. But yeah. in this particular shape, mm -hmm. I would play either this or jump just mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, the right side will yeah. become uh, an interesting one. Mm -hmm. So it's all about time. Because mm. if you play like this, then you get reduced considerably. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I know, jump. Yeah. Maybe this. Sure. Uh, okay, I guess White just takes the corner then? But yeah, yeah but then you already pushed down uh -huh. quite a lot. So, yeah. But. Black really felt that yeah. this uh, area is important. So yeah. he and he's a fighter. He likes to yeah. Yeah. to fight locally. Yeah. So he went for the big point, mm -hmm. and now he invites White. Uh, I think White has no choice. First local fight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So oh yeah, or maybe the second, but yeah. mm -hmm. it's still happening in that corner. Yeah. Playing the honey. Okay, so I, I I think that this is um, well. I was I guess I was kind of mentioning this earlier. So mm -hmm. if White just like this, the black and take. Yeah, right? the black take. Incente. The take incente, of course. Yeah. 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 So he, like this, he, can't do he this. does have a cutting point yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Which nice means, setup. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so which means that when black on is, white must uh, tenuki. Yeah, white must tenuki. Yeah. yeah. So I think I think of course black took. Um, uh, well, black finished this just like in incente and ran mm -hmm. into a very big move. So white has to punish yeah. black for not having. Responded earlier, right? He well, I feel that Lucas it's actually quite comfortable with the situation, the result in the corner yeah. because he's a very territorial oriented player. So mm. he's happy he got those points in the corner, mm. and he also managed to stick his head out into the middle, mm -hmm. which is unlike his style. But yeah. as Jeff mentioned before, he's trying to adapt a little bit, yeah. especially that he learned his lesson from uh, the games where he got pressed down too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I played him many times, and usually our games. Uh, are always in in the way that he takes territory everywhere, mm -hmm. like crawling a lot, and I end up with a huge center. 
Uh, we yeah. call that the center station, you know, he's going for the center station again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually the center station wins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, because actually yeah. It's, a, it's a very big area, right? Yeah, but now he starts to go into the center, so he's mm. he's moving his game upstairs. So he's, <laughs> this is exactly how <laughs> more game practice, right, can, can mm -hmm. get you further because you just yeah. you will just see more positions. Actually, um, and I know that a few people are wondering uh, how because uh, we have some some folks in, in chat who are not familiar with generally with, with how Go works. Uh, uh -huh. We can say that actually there are many positions, right? So mm -hmm. so these are very complicated positions. But actually, yeah. to to get started is is not very hard at all. Mm -hmm. like you actually just takes a few minutes to learn the basic rules, and then gradually you just you know, yeah, start yeah, building you know, oh, to your, 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 your knowledge base. So basically, you know, the, the players we're seeing here today, I think they, they've accumulated a lot of these, you know, knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. and, and they've played various games where the same position happened. And every time uh, they play a game like that, maybe they don't always win the first time, but they, mm -hmm. they review and they go over it. Right. Uh, just yeah. so, find better ways, yeah. So actually, this this pro uh, this um, process of just trying to get better is, is I think one of the most beautiful things about learning Go because mm -hmm. you just keep getting better, right? And, and there's no there's not really a ceiling as to how far you can go. This Go is very com complex, right? And mm -hmm. it, it's a bit of a paradox. It's both very easy to learn, but also very hard to master. Right. right. Well, that's kind of the point, right? Because yeah. um, I think all these players are, are always uh, they're, they're all on their journey, you know, to becoming uh, better players, better. Uh, decision makers, right? right. So, um, so it all starts from the basics. Yeah. Otherwise, the world would be full of nine dots. <laughs> <laughs> so easy, you know. Like, That's tic tac toe. Yeah. We're talking about. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, of course, so. we we do have a final on our hands, so let's get a bit more into that. So, um, I think white extends. White yeah, white extends. So, okay, if like just oh, fix it. Right. So kind. Yeah, actually. So as, as Jeff mentioned, mm -hmm. Ilya, it's it's pretty cool these days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, it depends, depends on how you feel, right? Sometimes you can feel really aggressive on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think in the recent years, he has a very uh, good feeling about the game, you know, like mm -hmm. uh, positional judgment is very sharp and mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's not playing very desperate. In the past, he used to be kind of, uh, let's say, chaotic. More than no, ah, yes. sure. yeah, yeah, chaotic is chaotic. Accurate. Chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. very yeah. accurate. <laughs> so, yeah. so he's, 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 he's a bit calmer now, right? Mm -hmm. he, he, he yeah, learned he, how to uh, wait much maybe more for the better mature chance, yeah. style. Huh? Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, but just cast. Yeah, because those three stones are heavier, right? Mm. So what yeah. is saying here? Yeah, some forty yeah. move. He's not afraid. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's looking at some combination here with cross card. Yeah. And separate somehow. Mm. And then okay, back plays the Atari. Okay. Ah, to keep this all separated, yeah. punish it eventually. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't. Are we gonna start a code? Whoa! Looks yeah. like this is the first code, right? Yeah. Yeah, he wants yeah. to keep connected, right? So he is he gonna use the those constants. Ah. Uh, oh, he leaves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh, okay. How important oh, so is this code for both players? Locally speaking, I guess if white wins the code, right? Uh, then white takes the uh, thing. Is, stone, yeah, right? it's about the the thickness of these stones in in the area. Mm. So if white captures the code, then he can counter attack those stones. I mean, mm -hmm. they all of a sudden become very weak. They have no white side. It's a, it's about settling the groups more than mm -hmm. so. But interesting contract. Yeah, he couldn't find anything better here. Like so, at least attach. Yeah, at least attach. Yes. To you know connect the line. Mm. I mean, if black plays here, yeah. then you have follow ups like this. Yeah. And it's it's not negative. Like all the moves you play mm. are pushing black down, and feels like you connect on the outside. So later you have some prospects in the middle. Right. Yeah. Yes, yeah, actually. Then here you get separated. So. And when when he plays an attach like that, uh, black has several options. He can go back. He can get ahead, you can hunt it one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But either way the follow up feels quite okay for white now. Yeah but will get some I mean he plays the moves on the outside and black plays is just pressed down. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. I feel this move is more interesting as a cut attack. If black simply ignores that the follow up is also kind of clean, no? Mm. Right. Because if black simply uh, struggles to live in the top you would push here or maybe connect and yeah, he gets yeah. a very nice profit in the corner mm -hmm. so for sure. losing a couple of stones here to kill the top right corner it's a pretty good deal for white mm -hmm. and his stones 
uh, work very nice together. Yeah. I think maybe black is a little bit less than white. Is it fair to say from winning the code? Because if white wins the code, right, then white takes like both of these stones. But if black connects, it feels like you know it's it's not so damaging mm. to white locally because yeah, white yeah. has two stones on side. He can still he can still do a lot of stuff. Yeah, right? he can move. Uh, uh, yeah, around it later. So hmm. this is yeah. yeah. This kind of code can be a little heavier for black. Yeah. But the thing is, uh, when you play this kind of code red and black pushes, now yeah. you start. Hurting your stones also while yeah. playing the contest. So he probably didn't expect this push. <coughs> the resistance. He just yeah. expected a connection. Yeah, so black. Yeah. black has uh, uh, less contrast to deal with in the area. But mm. yeah, maybe it's the tournament pressure. You know, mm -hmm. again, yeah. taking over. Mm. <laughs> For us, it's much easier. We are just you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Out, making the <laughs> enjoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And we actually, whatever we suggest, has has no. Uh, I guess real consequences, right? Because we were just playing elbows on the board, but uh, mm -hmm. for them, it's actually it, it could matter. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. the difference between uh, I think we've seen it so many times. The difference between the winning move and the losing move can be one intersection one, away. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's, I, mean, I, I don't know. Maybe this does yeah. play a part. You know, in, mm -hmm. in, in we'll future see. fights, it's still a long game. So. Yeah. Yeah, of course it's still a long game. So uh, we should yeah. wait and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, so he took the call, right? Okay, yes, yeah. so I just connected. All right. Black connected here right away. Um, okay. okay. A bit of damage control, I guess. Um, so why just take uh, Well, his shape is quite... I mean, he's connected to this stone. Uh -huh. And he won his center, yes. So yeah, yeah. he can punish white locally uh -huh. for playing the wrong oh. corner, right? Right. Because now those three stones are separated from the top right corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. And white also lost this one, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So... Actually, there was one more exchange. Yeah. So black, uh, uh, black oh, turn. Black yeah. turn. Yeah, way extended. Yeah. This is a way to handle the co fight actually for black. Mm. Uh, he, he made white co threat uh, mm -hmm. work against white somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, he punished the co threat. So yeah. I guess white did gain something, right? But black also gained from mm -hmm. punishing. Separating his yeah. mistake. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's quite a normal way to counter the co. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> or the co threat, more like it. <clears throat> now we have a kind of a running battle once again, right? Because why has black is getting ahead? Then, Very important, yeah. Especially in this kind of. I think this uh, is a, a typical game for uh, Ilya, mm -hmm. where he's running with groups all over, and <laughs> he likes this kind of games. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so maybe it, he has it, a it, I guess it's, it's all depends on who gets ahead, right? In this mm -hmm. fight, it's it's gonna have a very major impact on the game. I think. Yeah. Um, Does he really need this game? He's not more urgent to do something. Uh, he's aiming at this, I think. Uh -huh. Oh, so you mean the cut here? Okay. Yeah. Play this out. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Then that's how he put the stone here. He's uh -huh. aiming at the potential. Yeah, because it's uh, the uh -huh. level doesn't work anymore. Mm. So, so if black plays away or if black plays here, he can cut right away. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if black blocks, so it's, it's a, like a ladder breaker. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So now if black pushes back, he goes out. Yeah. And then if here he goes no B. Yeah. In front end. Yeah. He will surround the group. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the Kima makes sense. But it looks dangerous. Huh? Right. Well, actually, he's also putting himself under a lot of pressure because Black does get one more move, right? So we can use this opportunity to get ahead. So White has finding uh, spree with that move. Yeah. He didn't have any kind of move yet. Well, to no, no. have his stones first. Hmm. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean there Black, are no Black jumps here with the idea to surround the group, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think one has to jump, right? Okay, so he, first of all, he plays his plan. He should play those four moves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's it, it gives him like a little bit of a like half a knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And okay, now he connects up. And then yeah. black faces too. Very proper, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Proper shape. So I think Ilya is also aware of the fact that white could cut, so that's why he defended. Uh -huh. so yeah, yeah. That's, that's after this, you can see that there's a, a, a net once again. So. Yeah. It feels like they. They both play a, a peaceful variation and mm. fit their loops. It's good, he connected this line. Mm. So, uh, I guess... And pretty, white? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's white stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty proper stuff from both players so far. Would you play here, brother? Uh, or oh, this is a teaching uh, game of <laughs> more like it. Uh, but yeah, here you are saying black as this. Mm. Yeah, it looks like if black plays another move, yeah. Or here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, starts to work pretty nice. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you always want to take your opponent's best point, right? Mm. Mm. So uh, and then mm -hmm. in yeah. this thing. 
many yeah. options. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I can understand young players normally wouldn't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, young, yeah, yeah. Players, young players want to directly uh, yeah. Yeah, force you to mm. do something. Yeah. yeah. But now I think black can think so, right? Yeah, black should. Mm. Maybe here. Yeah. High pencil. Like an yeah. AI. <laughs> well, he was usually things like Oh, this. yeah, yeah. high pencil is right. Yeah. What I told you. <laughs> he's, he's studying AI a lot. <laughs> um, so why the high pencil though? Why, why is this the, the best? Uh, well, I know it. Maybe because it's connected to the center. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's more. Mm. Yeah, high pencil working for center. Yeah. Usually when you play a, a move on the fourth line, mm. you're looking more for the outside influence. So, yeah. It's about thickness. When you play third line, you're more focused on the territory. So yeah. that's pretty much the main difference. Mm. Right. But yeah, there are so many pieces here. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Lila Zero likes this kind of move. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so this is this is the difference between being old uh -huh. and being Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Good. We like I so. often listen to my students, they say this is too <laughs> slow now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too slow. Yeah. Actually, uh, well, actually in the old days, right? I, I prefer this kind of slack move sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that's good. To me, that's, yeah, that's good if you consider this. Yeah, in yeah. The, this particular yeah, to me that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, if, but without circumstances, I would say that I, I can't play. No, I mean, if you, if you look at the position overall, mm -hmm. let, let's say why double approaches, uh, something like this happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just play like a, a classic of Seki. Sure. Ah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Then this kind of boyo feels very uh, promising for Black. Yeah, actually, yeah, this is in a good direction, right? Because yeah. with the corner back, actually, that's not a big area. This is yeah. the, really big area. a way for Black to take center here. Let's say he plays this, this, mm -hmm. this, this. And now he can play this one. Right. In order to get this point. This would be more like. Some oh. cosmic style play. Yeah. This is the kind of move I would never play actually. You know, the cosmic uh, yeah, that's... because usually you wanna jump. Yeah, nobody's jump. But yeah. if you jump, you will end up uh go there, yeah. and then your opponent will try to break the board. Mm -hmm. So in this case I wanna play the Kosumi just to take center mm -hmm. so I can grab another big point, you know, to yeah. speed up a little bit my even though locally this might yeah. not be the orthodox yeah, yeah. mm -hmm. um just like yeah. right. So. so this is like an example of trying to adapt your play according to the given position mm -hmm. so you can uh, speed up the development a little bit right yeah. but okay well, yeah we should check probably what happened again uh, with the little oh. design so uh, now that's uh yeah. lucas being alert on territory as usual yeah mm -hmm. a usually when you play this move you want a cross cut huh? yeah yeah no, there's yeah. no black stuff. and then atari yeah yeah and then type run, right yeah i shape uh -huh. And now here, sometimes you play the Hanane, just you know, to keep eyes in the, in yeah. the area and then play away. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you just play this vital point and you don't care so much about the Atari uh -huh. because you want to tighten the liberties of the two yeah. stones, right, so right, you can right. use this one. So okay. later, for example, you can come from this direction or something like this, you know. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this is a kind of shape where uh, White can uh, set up a Sabaki. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he didn't, right? He no, he didn't, he just Hanane. Oh, he played. And then Black played. The, oh, Black is a. Uh, Usually, you want to play this Hane when Black play, when Black has this stone, right? Yeah. Then you play the Hane. I think this is more common, have, right? And, and then you have this variation too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the products of the uh, self yeah, yeah, yeah. playing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good. And this is over concentrated because the stone is too close yeah. to his own thing. Yeah. So yeah. it would be nice to have it here, mm. or mm. even here to uh, threaten the cutting point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think that's I, th I think point, yeah. I think this Hale feels a little bit suspicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would cross cut here mm. if you start with Suki. I mean, mm. and it's a grand slam. I mean, you you cannot play chicken moves when you play for ten times. <laughs> <laughs> you really have to try hard. No? So I think not not a lot of approval among the uh, commentators. Ah. Eh? Uh. Yeah, well, here actually, uh, I know about Lucas here. Yeah. He knows that I cannot play either Sun Sun or this one because that's wrong right. direction. The he direction tried, is, yeah. It feels yeah, he tried to play on the red direction, but he doesn't find any good move. So here, he tries to play like this. So yeah. I will settle this stone here, and then I'm on the red direction. Locally, it's good or not, I don't care. But, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what he's thinking about. But uh -huh. if like that, then let's say I would rather, for example, he doesn't play on the red direction. Yeah, for, yeah for, I'm wow. completely for, oh, forgot wow. exactly. That's all, that's the direction. But this is usually with a tighter pencil, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo yeah. Most common. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah this used wow. to be played, I remember. 
in those kato masak masao games. Yeah, yeah. In Kai. Yeah. Oh, you also read those games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we are probably pretty much the same generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think grew up studying yeah, yeah. those games. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Those are the good old days, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, have, you, both, you have a book in your hand, yeah, you yeah. go board, and the afternoon and passes by, yeah. and you just and you could, you know, you play could follow out. those games much easier than what happens today. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. So yeah. so much random Baduk, I would call it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. looks like we found some common, Unusual. common uh, language here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, black just extends. Yeah. And then okay, white okay, white plays. White the, white. So this is what they play. Maybe white is good about this situation because uh -huh. for black to uh, develop towards the white stones on the left side, it's yeah. not so interesting as he's not going to gain so much in this yeah. area. Mm -hmm. There are already white stones there, so mm -hmm. yeah. as a direction of play, it's not so bad for white to right. mm -hmm. uh, develop towards the bottom. But mm -hmm. still, mm, I really didn't like the hand. Maybe yeah, no maybe, maybe it can be a winning or a losing move. We'll see. Well, we should Ooh. see a little bit further, maybe, right? Actually, what he's saying. Uh, with this move, mm -hmm. trying you know to to play away from the fight or to yeah. attack a little bit the uh, uh, east to kill the west. So you uh -huh. want to make some noise here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We saw that yesterday actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Against Oscar, yeah. And then do something about you know the left side to increase it, mm -hmm. and just make white. I mean black uh, build less, you know, mm -hmm. on the bottom. But it still feels like white is crazy. He got two weak stones here, uh -huh. mm -hmm. one weak. It's complicated. Yeah. And you also want to enter here, right? Yeah. Eventually, in, it has to be. Yeah. In in this in this kind of position, you want to to make this stone uh, yeah. get a, a base lightly somehow, and then be able to play a submarine approach so you can damage this mm. promising moyo. Right. So white is kind of busy. Mm -hmm. He has to to solve many situations. Yeah. What happened? Kite. Yeah. Oh yeah, the tiger stone, and then tiger yeah. again, and the vital point. This is very crucial, actually. <coughs> <coughs> and the uh, pressure, yeah. Yeah, black like pressure. So okay, white peeps. Okay, so mm. we go a little bit further. Yeah, this gives black uh, an empty triangle. Yeah, and then white and, extends. Uh, he needs life in the corner, so yeah. Mm. But actually, we said that you know, if black had a closer stone, right, then maybe he would yeah uh, be in suspicion of touch. yeah. Mm. But now the right distance, yeah. kind of, and he's looking at the cut. Yeah. Oh, actually, so can we play it double a bit? What, if yeah. what happens if black cuts? So let's say white plays here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, black will push. Mm -hmm. cut. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll play. <laughs> Go down. Okay. Uh, and capture two stones. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Or okay. if you save the two stones, like here or here. Yeah. yeah usually, you want to take away this one here. Yeah. Then black connects the other way. So mm -hmm. the three stones are wow. kind of trapped in the middle. That's really big, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's a problem for white. Yeah, so, so you literally want to play a, that game. Like that's a price time. he paid for that game. Yeah, yeah. The down. But here he can protect a little bit actively, you know. Yeah. When he plays this game up, the push and cut doesn't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with this move, he has a follow up to push. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, and if uh, Black will play this move, white pumps. Yeah, then he fixes, yeah. So he's fine. Mm -hmm. And uh, Black has to, to come back. So now he's a little bit over concentrated still, but. And now, maybe. Some invasion. Huh? Yeah. Think of the game he did that right away actually without fixing. So he was oh, more uh, worried about not getting a lot. But maybe maybe he uh, wasn't confident that when he plays the move, mm. black will answer. Black would like right? Yeah. Get a large move mm. here or something. something exactly. Like mm. But then it's big to push one. Because this group loses ice. No, no more base, right? Mm. Yeah. So, so I guess to each how, how goes yeah. Like this. No big. Mm -hmm. uh, you keep pushing, right? Take away the base. Sure. No big again. Oh, yeah. yeah. I guess maybe he's concerned that this is going to turn to an ocean of black stones, right? Because mm -hmm. you can see that there are only five stones here, but somehow they're closing a huge um, area. Oh. This is, I mean, stone, also, stone efficiency at its finest, uh, basically. Actually, this is fine for white. White has a lot of territory. Yeah, to me, this is fine. Especially the top left corner from the early stage. So. Right. And the center is still open. You can enter from this direction or this mm -hmm. one. So K1 may be okay, but yeah, so he's a left huh? mm -hmm. and enters with a submarine approach right away. Yeah, <laughs> submarine. Yeah. You know what, uh, this move, yeah, I, I, I don't have to say this. Is this a scuba diving move? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, this one, yeah, it's yeah. similar to this one. I mean, young players cannot do this. No, it's yeah, you just play here, I answer? No. no. <laughs> the young players can easily deny this. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, players don't like to answer, right? Yeah. So like when, when Black Bush is here, I, maybe. He yeah, he plans on this. Uh huh. And then against the wedge, he will sacrifice some stones. He probably will oh. even decent. No, no, no. He can do this, this, and go up. Well, because he doesn't care about that. Yeah, he can give the two stones. Yeah, but. Uh, <coughs> I mean, still, that's like a local. It's very really flexible, no? Yeah, and now know. young players put it. <laughs> <laughs> then came on. Yeah, yeah, probably. And then Black Nobi. For Cornell, I'm trying to call back 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Where well, 20 years ago I was, I don't know, 1Q, maybe. Mm -hmm. okay, the first tournament was like 1996, right? No, 1996 is the first tournament they listed in the EGD, ah. so that was like my third tournament and I was already around 2Q. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 2Q two, two level. Mm. In, so I was 16 then. Oh, yeah, 24 years ago. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, as a young player, I would connect. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Yeah. I don't remember. I always played too many tournaments, so the style changed a lot throughout the years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a legend of its own. Yeah. <laughs> We're waiting for your autobiography. Yeah. So. It's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> so, like it's for blog, I think? I need somebody to write it. You know. Yeah, black blog. Yeah, just hire a ghostwriter. Um, so this is a, a like base, yeah. Yeah. Play this exchange. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So White is gonna settle here. And now he's uh, looking for uh, uh, the he comp. come directly. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. He's eyeing right. this edge. I think if Black protects this way, you know, yeah. against the move, White will just yeah try to escape towards mm -hmm. the middle. So that's why Black is putting pressure. Mm -hmm. And if White simply submits, yeah. This is what. But then you can do that, right? Yeah. Then PP instead. This is what Black is hoping, uh, but this is actually sure, too yeah, painful. Sure. I mean, you live like this. Yeah, but it's gonna hurt uh. the, the other group. But then what happens here? You know, I like this kind of uh -huh. central situation. Uh huh. So why cannot really you know, yeah. play without fighting? He cannot afford to lack just of fighting be spirit. Specific, yeah. <laughs> He, he's gotta, he's gotta fight back. He has to fight back. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So uh, yeah, let's, so let's catch a little bit Come more on. fight then. So so this is one of the critical moments of the game. So. Yeah, definitely. So he's Stories. taking one stone. Yep. And now White's corner starts to suffer. I think this is pretty much one way street, right? No. Yeah. So White has to block, I think. And then oh now we have another. He cut. Oh, right? like cut. Kind of, but not really. So it's a pseudo code. Yeah, you have to connect. Yeah, like that, that's connect. That is not a, a real thing here. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you play something like this, this he cannot afford losing mm. uh, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, I think, I think if Black plays Atari here, yeah. White will ignore White will ignore it. Yeah. Well, probably those are second, right? just points. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Yeah. yeah, and then he will play another move mm. to take all the bottom mm. side. And the thing yeah, is. so he's yeah. the kind of call you want to connect because mm. anyway, there are there is Atari, yeah. Yeah. and Black has many liberties. Oh, mm -hmm. block this one. Oh, huh? block. Oh, he played Atari that way. He can win the semi. Okay. Wait. Well, let's let's play this oh, out. Right? I think black. Because I was expecting that. Maybe this one, right? The other way. And co. That could be another co. So if black Atari is here. So if black Atari is here. Yeah. Yeah. Then captures. Mm -hmm. Then Atari. Yeah. No, and then he the can use. Uh, yeah. And he can use. Uh, uh, no, actually the other Atari. It's more positive. Ah. Because sure. it makes white and heavy. It's white in a dumpling. Yeah. yeah, if you lose the stones, why lose an extra move? So. Mm -hmm. And now, close your eyes and clean the board. <laughs> <laughs> what what can white do? Uh, Take go. something here, it's possible. Yeah, maybe Kosumi and then. Yeah, then yeah. But anyway, mm -hmm. what, once you take here, let's let's have this scenario. Mm -hmm. So he gets a good guys. Let's suppose he donates everything there. And then he extends. Now those stones in the middle are pretty dead, and the bottom is also right. looking very sick, like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in English, sick means a good thing. Ah, really? Yeah. Like ah. That. That, that's sick, dude. That, ah, <laughs> yeah. ah, okay, okay. It's very, it's very uh, California, but uh, <laughs> look at this. Uh huh. So, so sick is something cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sick shape. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Okay. <laughs> we we learned so, something. Too. I mean, I mean, in the game, it's, it's not like that though. I, I was kind of uh, yeah, surprised when, when like this is a target from other way. 
So, yeah. Um, but maybe he's confident that he can play Atari, Atari, yeah, and like connect. Say, right? say that was a sick Atari. So, <coughs> oh. so this was a sick Atari, actually. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, what Another sick Atari. <laughs> he captured the core, he didn't need to. No, he just connected. He connected the path. Does he just win? So he has one, two, capture? three, four. And taking the call oh. gives him another liberty. No, right? because of this card. Oh, there is no stone here, by the way. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, no. But yeah, he's got some liberties. And for white to start the co fight. Mm -hmm. uh, wait a second. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He doesn't need to take the call first. Mm -hmm. Ah, he plays them right away. So when you go down, he's got like three against three yeah. and the call. Yeah, it's a nice yeah, yeah, it's difficult to go. find this seven. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, near the move. This one, F1. It's a, it's a sick move. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. Well, as you might say, California. <laughs> California, yeah. So, this means so that. So, white prepares for the code, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I think uh, he's going to build up for more, more code thrust now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah, by Connors. So, white just. Mm -hmm. Out, like on it. Uh, on it. So I think this is a very common technique, right? When you are in the middle of a co, and, or actually when you're preparing for a co, <coughs> uh, and you don't have enough co thrusts, one of the common techniques is to uh, ramp up uh, the yeah, create yeah. Co yeah, the crazy, yeah. The crazy more co thrusts, right? Yes. To, to make it, for example, if white can take these uh, stones, right? That, that's more, right? Oh, yeah, Which I don't know. Than previously. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, here the thing is that the co means take, take, so. Uh, yeah. Can hardly be anything bigger than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even if I take the stones here in this area, he doesn't really increase so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this can be a collapse yeah. for white pretty soon. Huh? Yeah, I can't think uh, of uh, or, Well, it's so gonna, he played a hand. Yeah, he yeah, played yeah. Oh, black take the two. Yeah. So why connect this, right? Yeah, yeah. Why connect? Because he's looking for some Atari, Atari, and then he just dies, right? Yeah, then he just dies. Then he just dies. Yeah, no call. So because if white blocks, then I can get take liberty. Yeah, that's take liberty. Yeah. Take liberty, yeah. 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 Mm. So he won't block, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay, that's why he white, prepared this. Why do anything here? Um, well, he's trying. He's trying to do stuff, right? Yeah. Mm, but the liberties are pretty short still. Mm -hmm. Black can cut. Ah. Uh, so he has the ladder, but black can from here. And the ladder doesn't work. Uh, ladder. Maybe he's hoping for a tari and net. Well, he tried to make the ladder. Yeah. Hard. Okay. He's ready to try everything now. Okay. So the sequence Sorry. is all forced. Uh -huh. Yeah. And now okay. turn. Black turn. Yeah. So now he's setting up the ladder. Yeah. Uh, Black like respond. Cheap trick. Yeah. <laughs> it's so a ladder could, breaker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So this uh, position ends with white piercing through the the one space jump, right? But actually, yeah, black is everything cutting. else. Mm. Black got too much profit here, yeah. and now the he, now he's, he's even pushing. So the yeah. compensation yeah. is it's quite small because yeah. for for white to capture the stone, mm -hmm. uh, it's not really capturing on a very large scale. Yeah. Black can still reduce from this side. Mm. Wait, there was no stone here, but yeah, there's no stone there. He actually, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So how was? Uh, so so black pushed. Black pushed. Oh, black. No wait, wait. We are missing some moves. Yeah. yeah so 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 white pushed through, right? Black yeah. also pushed there, and then white attached. Yeah. And then white pulled back. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. So this is what we have so far, I think. I'm yeah. Still a little bit behind. We're almost there. <laughs> and, it, and if uh, white plays something around here, mm -hmm. no. it's not enough because uh, the bank. It's yeah, the yeah. ultimate yeah. refer to that stone. He needs points. I. He needs to to save uh to to get secured in this area. So. Yeah. Is he gonna get it though? Is it too late? Uh, I don't think white white can get it in any case. Yeah. It's too big a loss. Mm -hmm. We didn't count, but like. From the side of the situation, mm. it looks difficult for white. Yeah, too difficult. I wouldn't say hopeless, but yeah. Mm. Well, we can, we can go a little bit further. See this happened. Okay. Yeah. Then, yeah. Then, then white. Oh, okay. Nice. Mm. okay, black is harness. Now we're back to the second line move. Yeah. <laughs> the the favorite Atari Atari happened yeah. here. Atari Atari. Yeah. And another Atari. That really is a lot of points on the last side. God, Brad, push. Mm -hmm. mm. And then. Yeah. yeah, white pushes. Black base is extremely safe. Yeah, no, black base is yeah. yeah. no, uh, scared. I think Ilya knows that he's ahead, right? Yeah, yeah, they, they both know easily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, um, so uh, in, in that case, uh, if Mike's ahead, like, he just 26. needs to avoid risks. Only yeah, yeah. Only the prisoners here are like 26 points. Yeah. 
plus the surrounding territory. I think this is where we are. 30. Yeah. More than 50 points in this area for black. And easily 10 points in the top. Around 10 here. So he's 70 ish. You mean uh, for, for black? For black, yeah, for black and white. Mm. Well, he has like 50. Yeah. Plus minus. He's so he's well behind. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Comey doesn't help him. Yeah. Well, even after Comey, he's 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 losing so a lot. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. And then Atari. There is a move here. Right. Oh. No, no, not Atari. Atari. Yeah. Atari yeah. yeah. connect. Yeah. And then White Castle from above. Oh, okay. And Black jumps. I think we're now. Yeah. Now we're close again. So this is what they played so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. what we would need? Uh, well, I think he's trying to build more points in the center, right? To, yeah. To compensate for that. Actually, Black is also getting points as he builds his shape, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't know. It's is there a way for um, White to catch up at all? Can we uh, say that this game is already going? Has already gone it's south. Out. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it, it, the position doesn't really allow White, you know, to do any kind of magic, you know, mm. to come back, oh. and also. It doesn't seem to. <coughs> it's kind of helping on route offside there, but uh, I suppose we can always root for the dog. But yeah, just take some water. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah so uh, the thing is, uh, yes. yeah, the, this the, mm -hmm. this exchange actually shows what intention because white knows if I right. increase around here, black just push. Black is also getting points. So it's not only white, white increase in the center. Yeah. So here white has to uh, fight, but like this, he's actually hurting his own chance to get yeah to get more in the center himself. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's why yeah you, you asked me here does white has to have any chance after this? No. So actually earlier this is not a well planned mm. action here. Yeah. Well, maybe he thought that it was the only way to uh, try to provoke Iria, right? Because that, that was one of the things we were saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, this is not a good opportunity, as you can see here. Because mm -hmm. basically, Black answered in the most simple way. And after that, so here, this corner in theory is a co but this is a co actually, there's no way for what to fight at all. So this is not a good opportunity. Yeah, you still, yeah, even if you want to yeah, provoke the opponent, you need, you need to wait for a good opportunity rather than be take whatsoever. Of course, that's easier said than done, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. In the, in the game, it's very hard to find the, the, the good opportunity because you really need to um, read a lot, you need to analyze a lot, right? Yeah. So it I just turns out that after this um, after this sequence, right, mm -hmm. White died everywhere, and then even though he found like a ladder breaker to, to poke, poke through one stone, mm -hmm. um, there's too much damage. Right? Yeah, yeah, too much damage. Down, down, down the side there. Yeah. So uh, maybe looking back, that was kind of the crucial moment. Because I think in the beginning, uh, they're, they're doing all right. Yeah, yeah. To me, yeah, it's normal. Player, yeah, yeah, it's normal. So he had, he actually managed to keep up with with Ilya like for first half of the game. Yeah, and actually around this moment he should probably keep waiting. Mm. Yeah, he should he should definitely because then the game is even and then it, when it comes to the second half, in case he's even, let's say the one who feel like he's supposed to win the game will be more nervous. Right. Yeah. Right, because actually, then, then he'd be like, oh, "I'm waiting. I've been waiting for this chance, right?" But somehow he's not going away. I should be. Yeah. I should be putting this game to bed already. Mm. Uh, yeah. But, uh, so maybe Ilya was, uh, well, given his maybe uh, should I say superior reading ability because he's uh, right. you know, the, the three down pro. Mm. Uh, he'd be pleased to see uh, the other, you know, uh, the other player getting maybe a bit impatient. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, you know, unleashing mm. uh, the, the aggressive variation, and then he's. It's gonna be happy to say because after that, uh, you know, sequence that was the game was good for him. So. Right. Um, yeah, it's just like one moment this yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Just one moment. Mm. Well, um, a little bit sad. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, normal. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> well, of course, we can talk about tactics all the time, right? But yeah. you can you can try to apply the right sort of frame of mind mm. against a very strong player. But at the end of the day, you know, the raw strength. Yeah, it's still that. Yeah, still, still matters, of yeah. course. Um, but I think Lucas has played a really good tournament already. And it, yeah. uh, by the way, this game is not finished yet. We, yeah, yeah. Let's let's not uh, call the game for for <laughs> India uh, just, just yet. Maybe he messes up somewhere, right? But, uh, uh, unlikely. You never know. It's unlikely, but it's yeah. it's, it's possible. Mm. There's almost a glimmer of, of, of chance, but. Uh, I mean, we're saying this like yesterday too, right? Yeah. Uh, I I guess Oscar was in a good position, and you could. Say that okay, well, Lucas is almost on the verge of you know be, uh, being defeated, but uh, mm. he, he managed the way, so yeah, 
Um, you should always stay concentrated, you know, focused towards the very end yeah. in order to win a match like this. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think that's what we've seen so far from board one. Maybe mm. we can take a look at other boards, right? So right. To, now the pressure is off, right? Mm. None, the, neither player will be your student. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's a little bit better. Of course, Bernal yeah. uh, has just gone to take some, some water as well. Maybe we should too, right? Yeah. <sighs> Spend a lot of talking. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that 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 board one uh, mm. game. That is the quarterfinals between uh, uh, Lucas Valpera, the seventh down averaging from Czechia, and uh, Ilya Shikshin, the seventh champion, of, of course. Yeah. Three down from Russia. Uh, I think we want to. Yeah, that we that we're gonna check out more boards right now. There are three other things going on, so we will try to bring you some results if we do have them. I don't I don't believe we have any finished games yet, but mm. um, yeah, we can, we can just wait and see a little bit. I, I don't think. Uh, these players will, will rush mm. uh, through the through the conclusion here, so right. they want to take their time. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's been pretty fun, I think. Uh, so for those of you who are wondering about what what Go is, uh, you can also check out the, the beginner's tutorial we have in the links. Uh, you can once again root for your favorite players in the polls. It's not too late to do that. Uh, right. You can check out the games on KGS, of course, if you want to ask us anything, uh, mm. ask us any questions, just just say in Twitch chat, uh, you know, what, what you don't understand about this commentary, then I think we're very happy to explain to you what, what's uh, what's going on. So mm. our, our, I think our mission is always to try to, you know, tell the story right, right. To, to our to our audience, you know, about what the game of Go really is, and, and hopefully you can enjoy the process as well from, you know, uh, spectating, uh, well, this is the top uh, Go tournament in Europe right here. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you, you have enjoyed everything so far. We're just uh, taking a short break and uh, yeah, see you soon. Oh. Here he is. Cool. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're planning to take a break just now, but we have the man in the building uh, already. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Ida Shikshin. So, we have to change the commentators. Uh, Ida Shikshin, the winner of the uh, well, the board one match in the mm. quarterfinals. So, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. And uh, this means you're in the semifinals now. I think you're gonna play with the, the winner of this game, right? Yeah. And, uh, Look like it, Mateusz. And uh, yeah, we, we are we're gonna see while well, the last goal is, be, is being fought at, at this moment. Uh, I have to say, uh, well, first of all, congrats on the win. But uh, throughout this tournament, it, it's been uh, pretty exciting stuff, right? Uh, it's the, these players are really fighting their way through mm. everything yeah. at the moment, and they're still looking for co threats here and there. Of course, we don't have to play this out now because. I don't think it, would, it should affect the, the outcome of this game, but they're still fighting. Um, but yeah, a great win against Lucas Papera. I, I guess when you when the draw came out, you know you got the only amateur player in the in the field. But still, it, it was a it was a it was a tough match, wasn't it? Of course, uh, Lucas tried his best <laughs> for sure. So how did you feel throughout that that game? Um, did you feel comfortable all the time, or did you were you under pressure against Lucas? Well, yeah, of course I felt pressure because he was going to win. <laughs> and anyway, it's pressure. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But actually, I felt like I was winning most part of the game. Mm. Uh -huh. So actually, in the, in, the, in the end, it was a pretty big margin, right? So because even after coming, you you got like thirty nine points. So I remember there was this uh, position in the game. Of course, we're not gonna since you're you played that for like almost five hours. So we're not we're not gonna. Exhaust you on that particular game. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have energy, uh, we would, of course, it'll be, it'll be great if you uh, we could like take a look at one more game with you together. But it's up to you, right? So, uh, so we're just gonna talk. Just we're just gonna wave over the board now. But in, in that game, there was one position, right? Uh, you you killed a lot of his stuff. Yes, yeah, on, on the bottom left corner. I just wonder if you think that was the winning moment. Uh, this moment, I was sure I was winning like twenty points. Probably. Oh. And I think later I maybe played not so well, so I won only 13, but I, at this point I was sure I was mm -hmm. going to win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> it's hard to lose in this game already. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, you think the hit attachment from the third line, that thing is a premature, right? Yes, it was a overplay, I think. Ah, at one yeah. point, yeah, he, he cut you off, right? And that was, but that anyway, was... he was uh, behind, so he tried to make it complicated, but uh, yeah. I guess mm -hmm. this didn't work. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but actually, um, so actually, this is your first match, right? You have, you have two more matches to go. Uh, I know that you are the defending champion uh, of, of this tournament, so uh, of course, this is also the, the biggest event of basically European Go, right? You don't you don't get uh, ten thousand euros otherwise uh, by by yourself. Like, yeah. Okay, transatlantic, but actually, yeah. I don't know. I mean, if Matthew wins all five games, are they just gonna give him all the money? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you look at agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
kira mak get it. Up. <laughs> you, you split it, right? Yeah. You split it, but he will get more. Ah, okay. yeah, which yeah. means he we have some he, he, money for bonuses for wins. Yes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. cool. That, 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 that's, that's nice. But of, of course, that's not over yet. So don't jinx it, EGF team. Um, <laughs> um, and, and so, so yeah, because everything can still happen, right? So yeah. what if Eric wins five games on a bounce now? So mm. <laughs> these these professional matches, you, you should never call the results too early. You know, because right. anything can happen still. But yeah, you know. Um, it must be really good memories for you, uh, Berlin, in this place. You've won this tournament twice, uh, I think, yes. in the first year yeah. as well, right? First year and fourth. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So actually, it's actually something that no one else has done. I, I know that Ali was, uh, he was the champion in 2016, and Artem won it once, but mm. yeah, you're the only person who's, who's, who's won, uh, won, won a tournament twice. And uh, this year, I mean, if you win on Saturday and Sunday, it looks like you're going to uh, pick up your third Grand Slam title. That's going to be quite exciting. <laughs> yeah, I will try. <laughs> uh, did you prepare a lot for this uh, tournament or did you just do the regular stuff, just practice normally? And, uh... mm, it's not like you do something special in training, but you just uh, do something special in your mind, but you try to concentrate and play very accurately all the game. Mm. It's really important to focus, right, in the game because I, yes. I think uh, with these big tournaments, right, I think someone like you who has experienced a lot of these occasions, right? It must take that extra bit, right, to, to overcome the, the pressure, right? Um, yes. What do you think is the most important uh, kind of detail to pay attention to when you're playing in one of these big matches? Well, I think I can uh, get myself play these games. It's only three games. For example, when I play the European Championship at the European Go Congress, I don't play uh, hard, hardly all the games. The first games I play just relax it. Let's yeah. see. Mm. I play only the last three games and try to concentrate. Yeah, but actually, that's that's really important too, right? You gotta stay focused, but you also you gotta stay relaxed. Cause, yes, uh, because I need to mm. uh, keep my strength, mm. <laughs> yeah. mental power yeah. for the last games. So uh, I think they're kind of now, by the way, I'm on board too. So we're just gonna wait for the for the result here. Yeah. But yeah, like you know, many many players. Uh, uh, they're strong, right? But uh, for, for someone who's maybe less experienced, they, they could crumble under the pressure because they, they might imagine, you know, the enormity of the, of the game, right? Especially, you know, on Saturday and Sunday, uh, if, yeah. if you, every time you win, you know, your, your prize money is going to double. So. But I think uh, first games are more important than last games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this uh, quarterfinal was more important than semifinal, and semifinal was more important than fi the final. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually, you know, the, uh, I know that you're a seeded player, right? So that actually, this is your first match. Sometimes it could be a banana skin to get over the first match, right? Because yeah. they just, you just came into the city, right? And then you're you are trying to, you know, warm up and, and prepare yourself for, for Saturday and Sunday's match. So it could be tricky. Right? Yes, but this game was also, uh, I was lucky that I could <laughs> get warm up. So it uh, looks like we're going to, I think according to the draw now, you're going to play one of these people. Uh, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna I see who, who it won. is. You think he's winning? Mateo is winning. So okay, it, so it's gonna be you versus him in the semifinal, mm. right? Because uh, we don't have oh. any draws anymore on Saturday. So, uh, well, he's he's the well, what can I say? He's he's the man in form, right? He won three games in a row against the, the AJ professionals. So uh, should be a good match. But, yes, but I think if you would lose the first game, it might be a facade. That, uh, if you would have. Uh, Zero free for Europe. Yeah, yeah. So American would win three games in a row, maybe. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know that, that the first match was really important, right? Because yes. you know they, they had wow. Andy. Uh, the, I think it was the most important. Yes, yes. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah, but actually that game was. Uh, I think Andy was leading most of the time. Yeah. Yes, he was leading, and I think he is quite yeah. strong to win actually against any European professional. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, of course, you know, this, this momentum can, can change because uh, in Notion Cup as well, right, in, in the Asian teams, you know, yeah. if, if you win the match and you can proceed to win like six, seven games in a row, you know, Fan yeah. has done it twice, actually. Yes. So, I mean, there's maybe, I, I, I don't know, maybe Matu just really enjoys that, that the King of the Hill format, you know, maybe this is his specialty. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, like a lot of things can still happen, you know, uh, I, think, I think you guys have more tournaments coming up, right, after, after the Grand Slam. Uh, I know they, I know they were teaching in Moscow right at, at the mm. the world youth yes. championship uh, but sorry the, the European youth championship but yeah. uh, you will be going to China as well right yes there's a big tournament in, in Hongshui uh, in the middle of May yes mm. uh, IMSA world masters championship mm -hmm. mm. here's so, the best uh, Asian players yeah 
Do you look forward to that uh, in particular? Uh, have you uh, trained harder because of that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> not really, because I cannot beat Park Chun Wan Kid there. And yeah. <laughs> maybe I hope to win Taiwan or a Japanese guy, but. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will try, but it's still hard. Yeah, you, you, you always got to try, you know. Um, I think, oh, actually, we do, we do have a result. So why was by half five and half four points? So yeah. we can confirm for you that uh, Mateusz Serma, uh, the, the two down profession from Poland, has defeated uh, Alexander Linderstein, the seven-time European champion uh, from, from Russia. So uh, but, but it's not going to be a Russian derby in the next <laughs> round. But uh, uh, he will proceed to the to the semifinal. So we will have a mouth-watering clash between Ilya and and Matthew tomorrow morning, mm. uh, right here at 11, 11 o'clock. But of course, I, I think we we could look at one more game before we go, right? Maybe, yeah. okay, Cornell has to get more water, so he's been talking a lot, but right. maybe we, 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 we do this really quickly, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like, okay. you know, you know the, the board three we have match again. <laughs> uh, was, actually, is it still going on? Uh, but it's, it's, it is, right? It's it, basically it is over now. Yes, we are playing, I think. They're still playing, yeah. Uh, are they still playing? Yes, but there is one last move probably left yeah, on the board. Yeah. Uh, well, two, two. Not many moves left, two but. Moves. Yeah. Um, On the uh, core, half point score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so uh, it's almost finished. But I think uh, Andre is winning. Andre is winning? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that's hard to tell. I already uh, watched it before. Well, uh. do you, um, Jeff, do you want to see this game today or <laughs> wait it, wait for tomorrow? But it's, um, uh, it's up to you. Uh, I would say, yeah, Ilya, you, you, you may have to say. Yeah, we have yeah, the yeah, best yeah. player it's in Europe here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you want to look you at this game? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's. Okay. Let's see. All right, sure. So, okay, but we should take a, maybe just a bit of a break, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Because we need to ca catch a breath and, right. and do that. So, uh, yeah, this, this game's still going on. I think this is the only game left. Uh, but it looks like, well, this is another one of those super epic matches mm -hmm. that, you know, just okay. already 344 moves, 60 captures. Looks like it might be a close finish as well. So, mm -hmm. just don't know what, what, what the result is just yet, but we'll try to update you with that. Um, so, when we come back, we're going to take, we're just going to take a break. Uh, we will review a board four tomorrow. I think that the yeah. match between uh, Ali Javarin and, and Arjun Kozinowski, so they're yeah. in the bottom half right now. Mm -hmm. The winner of this match will play uh, the winner of uh, that uh, match on board four, which is Arjun. So Arjun right. is also, he's going pretty strong, you know? He, mm -hmm. he could be one of your opponents, the, the opponent in the final. So yeah. uh, we don't know yet. We don't know yet. But uh, we'll do, so we'll do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think before we go, we're just going to take one more game. Yeah. If that's fine, we're just going to speed through everything pretty quickly try to mm -hmm. try to f f finish uh, uh this review as, as fast as possible but uh mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff to talk about it seems so uh yeah we'll see uh other than that thank you so much for watching this commentary mm -hmm. uh we're not we have one like encore which is usually mm -hmm. during a live concert there's always like one last song we can sing together <laughs> yeah so that's gonna be what we're doing now mm -hmm. uh yeah see you soon